when I was very, very young, I was exposed to classical music. Uh, when we were relocated and then finally ended up in Ogden, Utah, and I was about four years old, my father took me to my first concert, uh, Leopold Stokowski. It woke me up as a child, four years old. And then soon after that, my mother started me dancing. My late teens, I did, did a Broadway show called Flower Drum Song. And at that time, there were several Broadway shows with Asians in it. But these were the kinds of roles that Asians were prostitutes um, and uh, Sayonara, the geisha girl. And you realize that you're there because you are chop suey. You are the watered-down version of Chinese food. But I still loved dance, and I still loved the theater, and I, I didn't know how I was going to overcome it. And it was shortly after that that um, I auditioned for West Side Story, the movie. And then I said, oh, yes, finally. That was the first time, the only time, that I ever played somebody that was an Asian. And then I was in New York. A woman came up to me, and her name was Yuri Kochiyama. And she says, what are you doing here? What's your name? And she started asking me all these questions. Before you know it, she was asking me to come to a meeting of Asians. So this was my first introduction to an Asian who was an activist. And I went to a meeting with um, her and um, several other elderly, you know, Niseis and Chris Ijima and his parents were there. And somehow me and Chris got together and I didn't, I didn't know before that time that he sang and played the guitar, but he brought a guitar and somehow wrote our first song. We are the offspring of the concentration camp, sons and daughters of the railroad builder, leave their stamp on America. So that was the first song that we wrote and it was really like an amazing thing for me to see the effect of or to feel the effect for singing for an Asian audience. I mean it was it was like an electricity going on and I felt like for me that was my awakening that was the moment that I was really born. At that point, Chris and I decided that we wanted to go to the West Coast and see what was going on. We, we didn't really get paid, I don't think. We just got enough money together to go to the next place. But it was also the beginning of our work as sort of troubadours or griots, because in a way, us moving around gave us a view of the Asian movement that few people had. You can do service, you can do and elevate consciousness in whatever you do, whether it's the arts or if you're going to be a doctor or whatever you're going to do, you can find a way of being service to the community. And, and being in the service of the community or being a community artist has really, for me, been the food that has fed my life.